Chef is a movie near and dear to my heart. It's a great character study, an insider's look at the business of being a chef, and a loving tribute to the father-son bond. So today we're making what else? A Cabano sandwich. So, is it good? It's amazing. Then I guess we're open. Welcome to Film to Table, where we explore the relationship between favorite films and delicious dishes. Join me in the kitchen, and let's get cooking. It's about the pressure, it's about the pain, it's about this delicious pork. So today, I have my good friend here, Travis Flood from Papa's Artisanal. So Trav, you actually have the Cubano on your menu at the moment, right? Yeah, both for lunch and dinner. And yeah. you know, we put it on a menu as a joke, just because it was such a popular movie and, and people were looking for that sandwich. And, and now if I take it off, man, I'm... I'm oh, good. you let you know about it through... Travis took his Cubano off, we're not eating there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, Social media is a big happens. part of this. A lot of times as chefs, we struggle with cooking food and, and being creative and seeing the transformation of a chef cooking somebody else's food and mm. not being happy to a chef that actually found where he wants to be yeah. and what's he want to do, that's, that's priceless. Well, I tell you what, I give 100% credit to Favreau for that because he's not a chef background, but man, he could chop like one though. He did really well. Yeah, and he left with all of his fingers too. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> so let's start with the marinade. So you've got the ingredients, lime juice, orange zest, we had mint, we had garlic, we have coriander, coriander seeds, black pepper, and salt. So the pork plays, I guess, such a, a, a big role of this because it is fundamentally, it is the part that sings in this dish, right? So it takes about 12 to 24 hours, but why so long? But you want a good sandwich? Yeah. Or you want a great sandwich? I want a great sandwich. Well, so right. we got to give this bad boy some time to really sit in there and, and do its work. Let the salt get in there, <laughs> let the acid get in there and break yeah. it down. All but right. I think you should get it in the fridge, you know, right. or, right. or it's nestled up and it's right. going to be a happy camper. So we got it in there. We'll pull it. What's that right there? Oh, babe, I, was, I knew you were coming over and I thought, you know, <laughs> the magic of television. So what's next? So as we get it here in the pan, I really like to take this little bit of that leftover marinade, you know, before the whole basing process. And let's put some of these chunks of garlic and herbs on top. It, mm -hmm. it just kind of like tucks it in. Yeah. And it just makes it happy. Let's get this piggy in the oven. <laughs> all right, let's make one of these bad boys. It smells all right, huh? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, this, you know that little bit in the movie where they're trying everything? Yeah, this is like where the whole like sandwich was created and they're like, this is it. This is it. But we don't know it's it till they've tried it. Try it. Try it. Salt. The salt. Citrus. That crunchy bit on top. Yeah, it, oh. you can't go wrong with that. Look at that. Look at that. Still moist. Remember we talked about all this and keeping the moisture in it so you yep. don't want to dry it out too much? No, I want to, I want you to notice that there's fat in here. Yep. A lot of people think that's bad. Yeah. Is that bad? It's flavor, bro. It's flavor. Flavor, baby. When you bite into that sandwich, you want to go to flavor country. Yeah, get on the flavor train. Flavor train. <laughs> now, I know you have one on your menu and you did elevate that one a little bit more. So what have you guys done? You know, it's kind of put our little version of carnitas in there. You're Southern California, so you've got more of a Southern California twist to it, I guess. Yeah. Hey, I got one of these sandwiches All right, done. let's do it. Let, let's get this in here. We'll go with the, the classic version first. All right. Let's lay that bad boy in there. He also does that test, too. And if you have a, a griddle at home, if you throw a little bit of water on it, you want to see the steam come you off said, it. You said a little bit of water. Yeah. Right, not, not like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can have a little a bit of mystery there, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the real key to this is you don't want the bread to burn, so it's all about temperature control. You want the cheese to melt, which was really helpful that you started to uh, you warm the meat up. So the bun has to be crisp, and when you break that bread where you cut through it, it's got a snap to it. Oh yeah. How so about a little knock-knock test? Oh, yeah. But you know we need to make this pretty for the we camera. We gotta right? get customers in the restaurant. Alright, because it's all about social media, right? <sighs> oh my god, Monster Cubano. Oh, that's... One of them. Get that on there right now. I think we get a picture. Yeah. Us, us. Uh. Okay. All right, get that ha up there. Hashtag Monster Cubano. Hashtag Foodie. Hashtag Chef. Hashtag El Studio. Hashtag Best Cubano. Hashtag C Lexus. Hashtag Best Cubano in the world. Hashtag Delicious. Delicious. Isn't it funny? You actually hashtag everything before you've even tried anything. Oh, these days. Mm. I love how this movie reflects just classics and, and mm. simple cooking. Mm. You know, I mean, all the years we spent on the line and, and those Michelin starred restaurants and fine dining, yeah. a lot of effort, you know, but to it's make a simple work. sandwich, mm. it's so rewarding. This is what people want to eat, is the things that chefs actually cook for themselves when they can be bothered cooking. You know, Jason, uh, thank you for inviting me down here today. Sure, man. And, and discussing a movie that we hold close to our hearts mm. because it's, I think it, we can look at that movie and it's a, it's a little bit of, of who we are and it's a way that we could sit back and look at what we really need to do in life. Mm. Um, Man, come back anytime. For sure. For new episodes, recipes, and more, visit lstudio.com.